Hey guys, welcome back to Mixed Media Salad, a channel created for you, by you. And today we're going to get a little dirty. Yes, I don't know about you, but I'm a little bit tired of dealing with very clean, super crisp graphics. Sometimes it's great and it has its place, but sometimes you really want to just get things dirty. So let's get started. Today we're going to make a title screen for a fictitious movie. And we're going to probably call this movie Dead Awakening. Okay, so we're inspired. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big Walking Dead fan. And I think that's where I'm going to kind of pull my inspiration from. Okay, so let's start by creating a new document. Um, I am going to go with... I'm going to set this to web. And I'm going to leave it RGB. And I'm going to take the page and we're going to make it HD so we're going to make it 1920 by a height of 1080 Oop, 1080 okay DPI doesn't matter it's fine here and we're going to say okay DPI was only important if we were printing we're not printing we're just making something for screen resolution okay so let's start by creating a layer I'm going to grab a square here and that's M on your keyboard, for those of you that don't know. And I'm gonna make it, um, I'm gonna make it kind of like this muddy, dark brownish kind of tone, maybe. Something like that, maybe with a hint of red. Um, yeah, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, something like that, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit uh, T on our keyboard to grab our font tool and we're going to select a font and I'm going to go with um, I'm going to go with something with like high impact something maybe that's oh uh, impact that would be it um, let me see if I can find it as you see I have a lot of fonts more fonts than I probably ever use but it's nice to know that you have them um, let's see I just passed H and here we go, impact, okay? And let's see, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna type out dead awakening. Hopefully I could spell, but I can't even see what I'm typing here. So hold on, we'll see. Okay, we got it right. Whew, that was close. Um, I'm just gonna kinda get this placed in the center of my screen here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hold down the um, the command key while I scale this up from the center. Okay, and I'm gonna make this something kind of in those brown tones, very similar to Walking Dead, because that is our inspiration for this. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put a little more gold in there, a little more gold color. Yeah, kind of brighten it up. Okay, so here's our fictitious movie title. And I'm going to go into my pixel persona because I have a brush that I made here and it's called the smoke brush. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush tool here and I'm going to make a big brush. Let's see, let's check our color. I want the color to be white on my brush. Okay. And let me just select it here. There we go. And I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna create a pixel layer. I mean, even though I'm already in here, it would do it um, when I start brushing anyway. Now that's behind my layer. I don't want that. I wanna see what I'm doing here. So let's undo that. Let's bring this up to the top. So let's see what we're doing. And you see, I get kind of a preview. I'm just making my brush really big here. Kind of seeing what I could do. Maybe change the size a little bit here. Mm, something like this. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to take that and I'm going to clip my image here. I'm going to actually use this to clip it like so. Okay. 
And I'm going to take my background, which is also being clipped, and I'm actually going to pull that out of that layer. I want it to sit on its own at the bottom of everything. And let's just go ahead and keep some good naming convention here. Good habits, right? So we call this the background. And we're going to call this text title. OK. All right. So we clip that. That's looking pretty, pretty cool as it is. Right. And um, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab another brush. I made another brush called Ronnie's Dirt Grunge Brush. And I'm going to pick this one for now and grab my brush tool. Make sure I got my right grunge here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of just put a little bit across the top of this, something like that. And yeah, that's good. OK, then I'm going to um, I'm going to actually apply a filter. OK, so this is my grunge. brush okay and I'm going to I'm gonna apply a filter to it a little effects to it and we're gonna see what we're doing here and I'm gonna just select this so I could stop seeing my brush every time I move outside that window there um, and I'll hit 3d okay and I'm just apply a little 3d to this you can see kind of give it a little bit more um, Give it a little bit more touch, uh, texture to it, okay? And I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go with that for now. I may make come back and make an adjustment, but I think that's good for now. And um, let's see. I'm going to make another smoke, um, smoke, smoke layer. So let me do that, and I'm gonna plop that one. Let's see. I'm going to put that on top of everything here. And I'm going to grab my brush. And let's see. Go over here to my smoke brush. And uh, I'm going to grab this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Mm, actually, that one has a bit of an edge. I need to edit that. We'll go back to our other one here. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of pull this across again. Okay. But what I'm going to do with this one now is I'm going to actually use the blending modes to kind of give this blended effect here, okay? And I'm going to go back to my text layer, and I'm going to add an effect to that too. And the effect that I'm going to add to that one is um, I'm going to actually put a little gradient overlay on that, okay? And I'm going to switch the blend mode to overlay. Okay, so it's kind of blending those colors now. And I'm going to scale that across a bit. Something like uh, something like this, maybe. Yeah, I'll set the Y a little bit. Change the angle. Tad. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. But it's just not feeling dirty enough, okay? So we're going to add another layer. And what we're going to add, actually, you know what we're going to add? We're going to add a texture to it. So I got this texture um, of a wall. And I'm going to go ahead to my draw persona. Okay. And I'm going to grab the place texture tool. And on my desktop, here's my texture folder. I'm going to have a dirty wall. Okay. I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag that across the entire size of the image here. Okay. Don't worry that it's blocking everything right now. I'm going to move that out. I'm going to put it on top of everything. Okay. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to check out my blended modes. And actually, I mean, you're seeing already that I'm getting a lot of impact, a lot of different feels here. How the, uh, the lights and the darks and the colors blend using this. Um... That feels really, oof, that feels dirty. That feels like a cross between Walking Dead and, uh, what's that other other show that's really popular? Breaking Bad. Um, I'm going to go, ooh, I'm going to go with Reflect. Okay, so 
I have that, and I'm gonna make a duplicate of, um, actually, you know what? Let me try something else. I'm gonna maybe take that off for a minute, that effect, and I'm gonna add a little Gaussian blur to it. Just because I like my text, but it's just so clean. Uh, just a, you know, couple of points a pixel right there, that's good, I think, right? And then I'm gonna um, hit Command J on my keyboard, and that's gonna duplicate the text layer right above the other one, okay? So um, here's the duplicate, and maybe on the duplicate, I pull that back a bit, okay? So the bottom one that I do have the effect on, I could stretch that out and get more of a blur in there, but I still have the Christmas of the line of text. Okay. And that's that's looking pretty pretty good. I mean, anything else that I do to this now is just small things adjust. I might um, add some more smoke um, to it to actually, I mean, I could mess with this a bit too and get some different effects. Um, but anyway, I could, I could add some more smoke to it kind of blend it, make some of the text kind of fade away a little bit more. Um, that's, you know, easily done by going to the mask layer. And actually, this mask layer, it's just a mask. You're not getting rid of any pixels. You're not um, destructing your file in any sort of way. So if we go back to our pixel persona and we select the mask area, and if you grab your, your brush, as you can see, I could, I could just erase this. I'm on the erase mode and I'm erasing everything, but all I'm doing is hiding the information that's there. If I go back here to my um, brush, you could see I could paint that back. So I could actually re-edit this the way that I want. You know, maybe I want it about that much showing less of an effect and that all depends on my brush what kind of effect that I'm getting here you know I kind of like that it's gnawing away at it and um, speaking of gnawing I could actually use my erase tool here and as I erase while using this um, smoke brush it's just it's just masking so I am not destroying the image whatsoever okay so that's it for today, guys. Um, I just basically wanted to show you how we could kind of take this very pristine vector artwork and turn it into a really grungy, kind of moody feeling piece of art. And uh, this would be a title screen for maybe a movie that uh, you might be producing or a friend of yours might be producing. All right, guys. So uh, thanks again for watching. You could always get in contact with me by tweeting me at Mixed Media Salad, or you can find me on the Affinity Design Forums or you could also uh, email me, all right? So I'd love to hear how you guys use this, and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to uh, reach out to me. All right, thanks again for listening. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button.